So hello everybody, Christmas is coming closer so I thought why not check out some presents for you and I opened up my bag of tips and tricks and let's see what I found for you. First one, often with software you want to check out older versions just to maybe check if there is a new bug introduced or if there was a breaking change or something in a version and you need the old version to open an old project and Bitwig got you covered with that. There is this simple URL at bitwig.com slash previous underscore releases and there you find each and every version of Bitwig down to version 1.0.1. So sadly not the first one, but all others are there. And interestingly, you can also check out all the release notes, what changed over the years. If you go back to the first one, you will see here the first update was introduced in March 2014, which means next year there is already the 10 year anniversary of Bitwig. Unbelievable, the 10 years time really flies. So next one, something that really confused me when I was starting with Bitwig, where is the project frequency handled? And the answer to that, it's simply handled by the frequency at which you run your audio interface. So for example, if I open here my settings for the audio interface, you will see it runs at 48,000 Hertz and also then the frequency which is used by the project. And if you export a project, so let's do that here, you will see there is no setting for a frequency here. You only can set the bit depth or here with the Opus Warbus and MP3, you can set the bit rate, which is a similar thing. But that's also an advantage because Bitwig handles all the importing of other files. So if you have files with different frequency settings, you don't have to worry about that. You simply drag and drop them into Bitwig and then they will be converted to the frequency of your current project automatically. A little tip in the project, if you need to change the tempo and you want to tap the tempo, there is a solution for that. You simply keep the control key pressed on your computer keyboard and then tap the play button in the tempo you like with your left mouse button and then the tempo will change nicely with the speed of your tapping. Something cleaned up and updated and partially also new introduced is here this little sidebar, the project panel, and this contains lots of new stuff. I already covered in depth all these different settings for the clip launcher, but also the other tabs hide very interesting things. For example, info is not new, but a tip here as well is this nice command section is a very good place to write down your lyrics to a song and already have it stored then together with your project and you don't need to seek your lyrics in a PDF or something in a different place. But also the next section is very interesting. It's called sections and uh, you have here the access to all the scene positions as well as the arranger cue markers. So if you simply select that, you can, let's open the scenes as well, you can jump to the respective scene and you can also press the return key to start that, but there is nothing in there. So let's hide that again, but we can have a look at that here. So if you quickly need to navigate in your project, you can use here the cursor key up and down on your keyboard, then press return to select it and then press the space bar to start the playback. And then you're quickly at this position or let's go here to the breakdown section. We're here, or let's go to the last chorus, and we're here as well. So very handy feature to have it here. And it doesn't stop there. There is also access to the commands. So you can click here this icon as well as up here, and then you have access to the commands. So you could say something, record the vocals, for example, you need to do that. Or you can also have hints if you use that in a live context. For example, here we might have some chords in there or similar things you need to know in that section. So pretty handy, but there is more. There is also the file section where you see missing files, but there is also an often overlooked feature which many people keep asking about is how can I delete files I do no longer use? Or for example, I recorded several vocals and I decided on 
one file only and I don't need the rest. So we can simply click here on delete unused and you see also my project here has some files which are not really used. So you can select which one you want to delete and then simply click OK and they are gone. And last one might also be helpful. You see all the plugins used in your project and especially you see the ones which are not there and are missing and you can also filter for that if you go on missing and then you can check out what's wrong in your project. So let's also give a creative tip. Let's make some music and let's have an empty track and I created some totally random notes uh, down here and we want also to create some random sounds through them. So for example, let's say we want something which is a little bit plucked. What do we have? I have no idea how that sounds. Let's check that out. Oh, that sounds nice. And what we can do is we want to create more variations for that so we can group that together in an instrument layer, but we actually want an instrument selector. So that's another tip if you created an instrument layer. By the way, I did this by pressing Ctrl and G on my computer keyboard, which is very fast way to get here an instrument layer. But if you actually need an instrument selector, you can change this as well. So now we have a selector, which means I can switch between different sounds. So let's add another one. Let's maybe look for a, a synth lead, why not? So load that one and let's select that one. How does that sound? Yeah, good for me. And why not? Let's have some kind of bell sound. Maybe not a cowbell. I don't know. What is that? Let's also select that one. Yeah, nice. So now the idea is that we want to switch between these, for example, for switching, you can use a modulator and you can modulate the switching. You could use anything, sidechain, random here, LFOs, whatever is here in the box of modulators of Bitwig. So let's go here with that one. And this is a little bit tricky. You need to pull that up to the top and it's a little bit still tricky, but I think we already got it here. And let's check that out. Is that is working? It's not yet working. Now it's working. So you need to increase the speed. Or you can increase the speed. So this depends on how quick you want to change the sound and you have a completely new mix of different sounds. You can even go weirder and even add more or add completely different sounds or also pen them in a panorama and there's lots of options but already with such three sounds you get already a very broad variation of sound. And this changes now depending on the speed of our random modulator, but it already has some built-in features. So we don't need the modulator. We also have here different modes. So the normal mode is manually that you change here with the manual keys, but you can modulate these as we saw. But there are also other options you can use round robin. So they just move down. But there's also random, so we can also have it random like we did before. The difference here is that it's now per note, so it randomly switches for each and every note. And before that, you can do that depending on a speed or a beat or a bar or whatever you like. So that's the difference you need to think about. And let's stop that. But what you can also do, for example, this is handy if you play in a live context, for example, and you have different sounds you want to play on your keyboard and switch them. For example, with a CC, you have a foot controller or you have a keyboard which can send program change, then you can use also program change to select specific layers here. And let's have a final last easy 
tip if you selected and soloed several tracks. You can simply keep the shift key pressed and click on one solo and all solo are gone. So I hope you got some new ideas and some tips you did not hear everywhere else. And until next time, make some funky music. <laughs>